हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑन एफआईआर फिल्टर हियर वी नीड टू डिटरमिन द फिल्टर कोएफिशिएंट एचडी ऑफ एन फॉर द डिजायर्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस व्हिच इज गिवन हियर ऑफ अ लो पास फिल्टर एंड इफ वी डिफाइन न्यू फिल्टर कोएफिशिएंट एचडी ऑफ एन इनटू ओमेगा एन वेयर ओमेगा ऑफ एन इज गिवन हियर we need to determine h of n and we need to compare h of e to the power of j omega with hd of e to the power of j omega here we need to determine h of e to the power of j omega using hamming window so here there are different steps which we need to follow the first step is we need to find hd of n then we need to find h of n for hd of n into omega of n also we need to find h of e to the power of j omega and we need to compare this h of e to the power of j omega with hd of e to the power of j omega then we need to find h of e to the power of j omega if we consider the hamming window so these are the different terms which we need to calculate first let us obtain hd of n we know hd of n can be given as 1 by 2 pi integration of minus 2 pi to pi hd of e to the power of j omega e to the power of j omega en d so omega. here hd of e to the power of j omega is given here let us substitute those values so we can write this equation as 1 by 2 pi integration of so limit is from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so it will be minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 e to the power of minus j 2 omega which is given here into e to the power of j omega n d omega so we can write this equation as 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 e to the power of j omega if we take e to the power of j omega as common in these two term we will be left out with n minus 2 d omega so this uh, we can write it as 1 by 2 pi so if we perform the integration on this we will get e to the power of j omega into n minus 2 divided by j into n minus 2 so here the limits will be between minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 if we substitute the value of pi by 4 in place of omega it will be e to the power of j pi by 4 into n minus 2 Minus e to the power of minus j. If we apply minus pi by 4 in place of omega, it will be e to the power of minus j pi by 4 into n minus 2 divided by j into n minus 2. Now let us rearrange this equation. We can write that as 1 by pi. We will take n minus 2 outside here, so it will be n minus 2 into e to the power of j pi by 4 into n minus 2 minus e to the power of minus j pi by 4 into n minus 2 divided by it will be 2 will take inside here inside the bracket so it will be 2j so this entire term we can write it as sin pi by 4 into n minus 2 so we can write that as sin pi by 4 into n minus 2 divided by so the term we can write it as pi into n minus 2 pi into n minus 2 so this equation is for hd of n for the n not equal to 2 this condition is satisfied when n is not equal to 2 now if we consider n is equal to 2 we need to consider this equation in this equation if we make n is equal to 2 it will become e to the power of 0 so e to the power of 0 will be equal to 1 at that case we can write this as 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 1 of d omega so we have written that equation here so if we integrate the term and apply the limits we will get 2 pi by 4 so here 2 will cancel out with this 2 pi will cancel out with this pi we will be left out with 1 by 4 so we can write hd of n is equal to sin pi by 4 into n minus 2 divided by pi into n minus 2 for n is not equal to 2 so we have got that equation here 
and hd of n will be equal to 1 by 4 for n is equal to 2 here we have found the first term which is hd of n now to find h of n which is nothing but hd of n into omega of n so we can write the equation h of n is equal to hd of n into omega of n so here omega of n is given as 1 for n value ranging from 0 to 4 for n value ranging from 0 to 4 omega of n value is 1 so if we make omega of n value as 1 so we will be left out with h of n is equal to hd of n so this is nothing but uh, the rectangular window so to find h of n we need to take h of n is equal to hd of n so in the above equation if you find hd of n which is same as h of n so we need to find h of n value for n value ranging from 0 to 4 if we make n is equal to 0 at that case h of 0 which is same as hd of 0 will be equal to 0 0.159091 so to get these values you can type this term in your calculator and put different values for n if n is equal to 1 h of 1 which is same as hd of 1 is nothing but 0 0.224989 if n is equal to 2 h of 2 is nothing but 1 by 4 n is equal to 3 h of 3 is nothing but 0 0.224989 for n is equal to 4 h of 4 is nothing but 0 0.159091 now let us find the value of h of e to the power of j omega which is the frequency response of the filter. Now in the question they have asked us to find the value of h of e to the power of j omega. Here if you observe n value is from 0 to 4 which means m will be equal to 5. So this is the length of the filter because n value is given as 0 to 4. So n is ranging from 0 to 4 that's why we can take m is equal to 5. Since m is equal to 5 this is nothing but the odd value therefore we can write h of omega is equal to e to the power of minus j omega into m minus 1 divided by 2 into h of m minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 into summation of n is equal to 0 to m minus 3 by 2 h of n cos omega of n minus m minus 1 by 2. So this equation we have understood in our previous lecture for m value odd. If you put m is equal to 5 in this equation, we will get h of omega is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 omega into h of 2 plus 2 to summation of n is equal to 0 to 1 h of n cos omega of n minus 2 so here what we have done we have put the value of m is equal to 5 5 minus 1 is 4 4 by 2 is 2 so that's why it is 2 omega here again we will get h of 2 so here 5 minus 3 is 2 2 by 2 it is 1 so here we got the value is 1. Now let us write this equation as e to the power of minus j 2 omega into h of 2 plus 2 into let us substitute the value for n here. If n value is 0 it will be h of 0. If n value is 1 it will be h of 1. So it will be h of 0 cos omega of if we put n value as 0 it will be minus 2 plus 2 into h of 1 cos omega of if you put n value as 1 it will be minus 1 you can write this as e to the power of minus j 2 omega so we need to substitute the value of h of 2 here so h of 2 is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.25 plus 2 into h of 0 is 0 0.15901 so we can substitute that value as 0 0.159091 cos so cos minus theta is cos theta so we can write this as cos 2 omega plus 2 into h of 1 is nothing but 0 0.224989 so it is 2 into 0 0.224989 cos omega so if we simplify this we will get e to the power of minus j 2 omega into 
जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन एट कास टू ओमेगा प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव कास ओमेगा सो मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ हेच ऑफ ओमेगा कैन बी गिवन एज सो द मैग्नीट्यूड वैल्यू विल बी दिस वैल्यू सो यू कैन राइट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ हेच ऑफ ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन एट कॉस टू ओमेगा प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव कॉस ओमेगा फेज वी कैन राइट इट एज हेच ऑफ ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू सो फेज वैल्यू विल बी द फंक्शन विच इज विद द एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म सो द पावर ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म इज ई टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस जे टू ओमेगा इन दिस माइनस टू ओमेगा इज द एंगल फेज एंगल सो इट विल बी माइनस टू ओमेगा फॉर मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ओमेगा इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो इट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू ओमेगा प्लस फाइव फॉर मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ओमेगा इज लेस दैन जीरो सो इन द क्वेश्चन दे आर एस्किंग अस टू कंपेयर हेच ऑफ ई टू द पावर ऑफ जे ओमेगा एंड एच डी ऑफ ई टू द पावर ऑफ जे ओमेगा सो हेच ऑफ ई टू द पावर ऑफ जे ओमेगा इज नथिंग बट द वैल्यू विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड हेयर सो इफ यू कंपेयर हेच ऑफ ई टू द पावर ऑफ जे ओमेगा विच इज नथिंग बट हेच ऑफ ओमेगा विथ हेच डी ऑफ ई टू द पावर ऑफ जे ओमेगा सो बोथ द फंक्शंस विल बी डिफरेंट both the functions will be different and will not be same because the window function is present in hd of omega so hd of e to the power of j omega there will be a window function that's why both the terms are not the same now let us obtain h of e to the power of j omega using hamming the window so the last part of the problem is to find or determine h of e to the power of j omega using hamming window first let us write the hamming window the hamming window can be given as omega of n is equal to 0.54 minus 0.46 cos 2 pi n by m minus 1 so this is for n value ranging between 0 to m minus 1 we know m value is equal to 5 therefore we can write the above equation as omega of n is equal to 0.54 minus 0.46 cos pi n by 2 if you put m is equal to 5 here it will be 5 minus 1 it is 4 so 2 by 4 it is 1 by 2 so we will get pi n by 2 for n value ranging from 0 to For to find h of e to the power of j omega, we need to find h of n. So h of n can be calculated using h d of n into omega of n. We have already calculated the value of h d of n. We need to find the value of omega of n. So you just type this value in your calculator and keep it in radians mode. If you put n is equal to zero. You will get omega of zero is equal to zero point zero eight. If you put n is equal to one, omega of one is equal to zero point five four. If you put n is equal to two, omega of two is equal to one. And if you put n is equal to three, omega of three is equal to zero point five four. And if you put n is equal to four, omega of four is nothing but zero point zero eight. We have already found the value of h h d of n, so h d of zero will be equal to zero point one five nine zero one. H d of one is nothing but zero point two two four nine eight four. H d of two is nothing but zero point two five. H d of three is nothing but zero point two two four nine eight four, and h d of four. Is nothing but zero point one five nine zero nine one. Now let us find h of n. First, let us find h of zero. So h of zero will be equal to h d of zero into omega of zero. So the value will be 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू सेवन थ्री हेच ऑफ वन विल बी इक्वल टू एच डी ऑफ वन इंटू ओमेगा ऑफ वन सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन टू वन फोर नाइन हेच ऑफ टू इज नथिंग बट एच डी ऑफ टू इंटू ओमेगा ऑफ टू दैट इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव हेच ऑफ थ्री इज नथिंग बट एच डी ऑफ थ्री इंटू ओमेगा ऑफ थ्री सो इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट वन टू वन फोर नाइन H of four is equal to H D of four into omega of four, so that will be zero point zero one two seven three. So after finding the value of H of n, we can find H of e to the power of j omega, which is nothing but H of omega. Since m is equal to five, which is odd value, for m is equal to odd, we can write H of omega is equal to e to the power of minus j two omega into H of two plus two into summation of zero. To one for n value zero to one h of n cos omega of n minus two. Let us substitute these values. So it will be h of e to the power of j omega is equal to h of omega that can be written as e to the power of minus j two omega into zero point two five plus two into zero point zero one two seven three. Just substitute the values of h of two, h of zero, and h of one cos two omega plus Two into zero point one two one four nine cos omega. So this value h of e to the power of j omega is nothing but e to the power of minus j two omega into zero point two five plus zero point zero two five four six cos two omega plus zero point two four three cos omega. So we have found h of e to the power of j omega using Hamming window. So this is about the problem on a fire filter using Hamming window. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.